Hello, friends, and welcome to Encouragement for Today. Rays of hope to carry us through these dark times of unrest. And, friend, there's no better place to find a ray of hope than in the truth and the light of God's holy and precious Word. Let me invite you today to pick up your copy of God's Word and turn with me over to the 21st chapter of the book of Proverbs. I want to look at just a couple of verses of Scripture. I want us to look at verse 20 and verse number 21. And I want to bring to you a thought that I've titled, Desired Treasure. Desired Treasure. You know, people are always looking for treasure. Uh, it seems like today that uh, we try to invest into get-rich-quick schemes more than anything else. But uh, where your treasure is, there your heart is also. And that may be why we're struggling so much in this land that we live in with darkness and unrest because we just can't seemingly get enough treasure or riches of this whole world. But friend, I'd rather have Jesus than silver or gold. Let's look at what the scripture says here in Proverbs 21, beginning with verse 20. The Bible says here, there is treasure to be desired, desired treasure. There is treasure to be desired and oil in the dwelling of the wise, but a foolish man spendeth it up. Look at verse 21. He that followeth after righteousness and mercy findeth life, righteousness, and honor. My friend, these are two of the most powerful verses to encourage you today that you'll ever find in the Word of God. There is treasure to be desired. Jesus said, lay up for yourselves treasure in heaven where the rust and the dust and the moth and the enemy cannot get in to corrupt and destroy. But too many of us are trying to lay up for ourselves treasure in this old world. Uh, I think about uh, that big farmer that had all of the land that anybody could ever want and he had a new pastor to come to town and uh, he took the new pastor up on a high hill on property that he owned and he said look all around you preacher everything that you see is mine and the preacher didn't miss a lick he looked at him and he said, but whose will it be a hundred years from now? Too many times we uh, dwell on the treasures that we lay up on this earth. Friend, we need to be laying up treasure in heaven. There is treasure to be desired. Friend, I desire the treasure of heaven because in heaven there is a place where there's no sickness or death, no sorrow. Uh, there's a place where there's never any darkness or night because Jesus is the light. There's treasure to be desired, all in the dwelling of the wise, but a foolish man spendeth it up. Are you throwing away the treasure that God has offered you to have treasure in this whole world? The Bible says, He that followeth after righteousness and mercy findeth life. If you really want to find out what true living is all about, follow righteousness and mercy, and you'll really begin to live a life that is righteous for the glory of God and honorable to God. So, friend, lay up for yourself treasure in heaven. I guarantee you that if you'll do that, you won't be dwelling in darkness you'll be able to see the marvelous light even in times of darkness and unrest Jesus will shine forth. Think about this. Let it encourage you today. And may God bless and keep you. And let's pray together. 
Father, thank you so much for reminding us where we need to lay our treasures. Too many of us are uh, trying to lay treasures on tangible items in the here and now. But help us lay up for ourselves treasure in heaven where nothing can get in and destroy, but where all will be well. There will be no sickness, there will be no death, no sorrow, uh, and all will be joy in that fair land. God, help us lay treasures up there instead of trying to lay treasures up here. And help us live righteous and pure lives in your sight. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, friend, I pray you'll do just that and uh, be an encouragement to somebody today. There's somebody that's always watching your life. Your life could be the only Bible some will ever read. So encourage people today to lay up for themselves treasure in heaven. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.